Hey y'all, Mr. Tim's here. Uh, this video is on a little problem I've had. I've got a uh, Holiday Rambler 2008. It's a uh, Endeavor 400 ISL in it and Allison transmission. So the the issue we had was that this last time we had used it was in February, and now it is early April. And what um, it sat up since then. So uh, February to April, a few months. And last time we had um, driven it was in ice and snow, a fair amount of freezing rain, uh, and then it sat up for a specific amount of time. And I'll show you what what was going on and what uh, I was having a problem with. Of course, we have air brakes on this unit. And of course, the air applied um, emergency brake that you, the parking brake that you have to to activate uh, before you can crank it. It's over here. So basically, uh, I'm, I'm kind of simulating what, what was happening to me here. So push down and uh, put it in drive and we are in gear now. And so literally not, not moving. You can hear me revving it up there. You can see the tachometer there. I mean, I was not moving at all. Now, um, I've got a chalk under the wheel to kind of simulate what I'm talking about, but literally it was, it was just that. The parking brake light would kind of hang up and stay on. Um, so let me go show you what I found and how I fixed it. And I should say it, it stayed on for a few minutes, but eventually would go off. So it kind of hang on a little bit longer than it should after I deactivated it um, and then eventually go out. So uh, let's go look. So I'm underneath the coach now at the back wheels. The parking brake only is on the drive train. Um, so not at the front of the wheels, just up here on the back drum. What you can see is after I drove it in the wet, uh, you know, put it up in the salt and all that, you can see this area here is pretty rusted. Um, and so what's basically happening is here's your drum, excuse me, here's the drum here and here's the brake pad and the parking brake compresses it against it and that's what keeps it from, from moving. So it was not releasing, it was sticking and not allowing me to go forward and not allowed to go backwards. I tried rocking it a little bit, but um, you know, didn't need to try to force it and break something in the braking system. Um, you can see more rust um, up in here, all along there. Um, and so, you know, here's our here's our shoe that goes on the inside. And so, you know, this is fairly open um, to all the elements, and so it's going to get uh, wet. It's going to get rust in it. Um, and so, here's what I did. All right, I start, started by chalking the wheels, right? Front and back, uh, as much as, as you want to. Just make sure that this, this vehicle is not gonna move or roll. You need to do this on a flat area. Um, safety first here, can't um, say that enough, y'all. All right, so inside I cranked up the, the RV, went and took the parking brake off with the wheels chalked, and then I came back here and got to this specific spot right here and I took an engineer hammer or any kind of heavy hammer and you can actually see the marks here where I just, this is the drum. I did not hit the shoe, okay? I just hit the drum and I tapped it probably, I don't know, four, five, six times. Um, and then, you know, with the parking brake off, the spring mechanism um, actually retracts it up. And I don't know if I can see the spring, don't, probably don't have enough light, but Anyway, the spring pulls pulls it away, and it should do its job. And there's there's a um, a clip of the spring back up there, and it, and it pulls that shoe away. So if you have it disengaged and it's just sticking, the spring's hitting it or helping it, and you just hit it, and then it and it popped. And when it popped, I could feel the tire move. And then I got lucky that that side came unstuck as well at the same time. I didn't have to go over there and pop that side. I think a little bit of motion on this wheel must have made it stick. Now, there's not, a, when it pops, there's not a huge gap here, okay? But there is a gap. Um, right now, there's not much of a gap. You see the, the light here? There's not a much of a gap, it's right up there, but it was literally, you know, um, 
less than an eighth, um, probably a sixteenth there of a gap between the brake, the pad, and the uh, in the drum. So anyway, uh, it came unstuck, and then uh, you know it functioned like normal. So um, you know, I've I've read a little bit of something about people saying that they use a little bit of high temperature grease uh, if they after they drive and. Um, and I'm gonna try to uh, spray it down next time I, I drive it in the wet, in the rain, and make sure it doesn't stick, especially with salt and ice conditions. So, all right, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos on RVs and and all sorts of stuff that I got going on. Thanks.